glad you came out today. I think that the importance of standing here today in this vigil is uh, underrated. And so uh, I'm just going to say a couple words about that. I do think uh, that the event, uh, the uh, ad that Doug pointed out uh, makes my point very clearly. The news uh, is that the Iran Accord now has the votes to narrowly defeat an initial attack by congressional hawks. In fact, uh, my contact at MoveOn called me a couple of minutes ago and said they won. So the, for now, the Iran deal, the Iran Accord is going to go forward. We it's true that this is a significant success for a popular campaign and we want to honor that success and the people like Senator Gillibrand and Congresswoman Slaughter who have made it possible. And all the more because they have to take this slander from the opposition. It's unconscionable. But we want them to know that more people in this country want peace than war. I've stood on many corners with a handful of people where nearly every car honked and waved because people do want peace. So uh, I, I set aside this list and I uh, decided to make uh, 10, 10 reasons, very briefly, of why we need to keep fighting for peace. And we can't let this drop just because one vote succeeded. First of all, um, this is hardly a clean defeat for the opposition or a clean win for us. They had to use a filibuster. Uh, second, new bills have already been introduced to undermine the Iran Accord. They're talking about things like defunding the IAEA so the process won't be able to go forward. Uh, Dick Cheney is now on the stump along with Chuck Schumer to uh, pass a bill to block the Accord. He is just a wonderful person like this ad that we just saw. He, every word that comes out of his mouth pretty much is a lie. He told us in Iraq there would be weapons of uh, mass destruction. He made many statements that turned out to later be false. Um, next, the Iran Accord, and I think this is especially important. It's only the first step towards peace. Our policies have created a disaster in the Middle East. And perhaps it hasn't been single-handed, but let me tell you, we, were the, we are the big chaotic, you might say. The biggest cause of chaos going in the Middle East with many conflicting policies for a variety of reasons. So those of us who want peace, we have to keep letting the government know over and over that yes, we want peace. Now we have to deal with uh, Russia over Ukraine. What if that was Mexico and uh, Russia was, you know, caused a coup to happen? and started calling us uh, a warmongers because we were defending our border. Uh, we need to talk to our government every day about peace because if we get off at the first stop, we're still gonna be in the woods. Uh, war has become a central plank in our economy. That's the next point. Um, do we want our people in the military or do we want them to go to college and come out and get a good job? Do we want to build society or go overseas and break somebody else's? Um, the wars look really bad right now. The, the chaos and the confusion keeps increasing. Uh, they keep having more and more, you know, like Russia and the United States are on opposite sides right now. And they both have military people in Syria. That's pretty scary. Uh, we can't come out only when there's a dire crisis. We can't wait for the bomb to go off before we come out and save the people on the beach. A process to keep the heat on. We need to keep meeting and getting together and standing here and hopefully more people will come. The warmongers aren't going to quit and neither can we. We need to support the people in Washington who address our concerns so they'll continue to do so. We need to support the peacemakers in Washington. A month ago, today, and in the future, it's a lot to ask and a big job, but if we want to keep our democracy, the time to support it is now. And once again, I want to thank 
Senator Gillibrand for standing up to this hideous slander that yeah. was in our newspaper today. And I want to thank Senator, uh, Congresswoman Slaughter for working for peace for the last, I don't know how many years, 30? Yes. <laughs> A long time. So, thank you all.